Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Anita Phone, and if you're a member, you're welcome back. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you on how to make this Jigo balloon sleeve step by step. So, if you want to know how I'll be going about it, keep on watching. Okay. First thing I will do is to go ahead and rule a straight line, that is my start point. The next thing I will do is to go ahead and mark 4 inch for my sleeve cap uh, deep. Okay, if you don't know how to get the sleeve cap, go ahead to divide your bust measurement by 12, then you add half inch to it. Later on, I will go ahead to connect it with a straight line. Next thing I will do now is to go ahead and mark the length of my sleeve. The length is 20, then I will be adding half inch for joining it up with the band okay and mark that up then I connect it with a straight line after connecting it with a straight line the next thing I will do now is to come on this line that's my slip cap line I will take around my armhole divide it by 2 so mine is 15 15 divided by 2 will give me 7 and a half inch then I will go ahead to connect it up like so once I'm done connecting it up, I'll go ahead now, measure that line from here to here and divide it by 2. Which is 8 and a half divided by 2 will give me 4.025. Then I'll mark it up. Mark it up. Then after marking it up, I'll go ahead again, still divide it again by two then I'm do the same thing here and divide it again by two after dividing it by two I'll come down here by half inch then I'll come here at the center point and go up by half inch right then now here what I'll do you can go in by two inch then just connect it up like this right place your French calf just like so connect it up to that uh, that line which I went up then I will turn it up I'm going to pass through that half inch that I went down like so you see what I just did then now uh, once I'm done doing so we'll go now down to the elbow I'll just measure uh, Five inch downward and mark it up. When I'm once I'm done marking it up, I'll just go ahead to rule a straight line. Then now I'll just go ahead, take round the able, divide it by two. Then I'm going to add one inch, which mine is twelve. Twelve divided by two is six plus one in seven. I'm going to come here, take round my weeks and divide it by two. Mine is eight. Eight divided by two four. Then plus one. 5 inch then I'll go ahead just to connect it up like this I'll be using the pan curve ruler it really work perfectly for this okay place it up like this go ahead and place it up right until you finally get to the right point before you connect it up all right you see what I just did then I'm going to rule it all the way straight down. After doing so, we'll just go ahead now to rectify it and connect it. And we'll go ahead to cut that up. Now that we are done cutting, I'll just go ahead and mark one and a half, one and a half, and one and a half. Mark it up. After marking it, I'll go ahead now to connect some straight line. After connecting that straight lines, We'll go ahead to slash all right it up but make sure you level them up to know which one is following the other after slashing it what i will do is to go ahead grab another paper and now i'll get my uh, paper gum just rub it on top and i'm going to gum the first part of it okay making sure everything is uh, straight and when you're actually gumming it, make sure you have space at the downer part. You realize that I actually changed that later on. Like here. You see that downer part? There's a little bit of space that I left. Alright? Where I'm rubbing the gum now. Then I'll go ahead and mark. Spray it out. The first one I'm going to spray it out by 2 inch. Right here. 
I will just bring this one here, rub my gum and connect it up. And then now, the next one I'll go ahead now to spray it with 2.025. Remember, the more you spray it here, the more gather you get, okay? Okay. And then, the next one, I'll go ahead now to spray it with two and half. You can spray it with two and half. And then the third one, I'm going to go with three inch. Then just mark that and wrap and connect it up. Make sure you go ahead, take your time and make sure this part here does not deform. Taking your time, doing everything nicely and smooth. Right? Then I'll rub now and gum it. Now I'll just go ahead now, making sure everything is well gum at this downer part and well at the top part. After making sure everything is uh, gum together, I'll just take my measure about, I'll be leaving about half inch at this downer part. I'll come at this downer part, I'll mark half inch and half inch here half inch and half inch here and half inch here then I'll go ahead to connect it like this then I'm going to do the same thing to the top part as well half inch After marking my half inch, I'll go ahead as well and connect it up. Then I'll go ahead now to connect and later on, we'll go ahead to, after connecting, we'll cut that up. So when I'm done cutting it, we'll go ahead now to cut off the band. I'm sorry, the camera was a bit far away. I just went ahead and that's the round my roots, which was uh, 8 inch, remember? I measure, divide it 8 by 2, which is 4 plus 1 inch of allowance, and I cut the band at 2, okay? This is what we have. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you do, do not forget to give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. I hope to see you on the, my next project. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching.